Hello everybody, it's Whiskey11 and welcome back to the Gaming Lounge. And in this video, we are going to play one of my favorite games, taking a step back in time to one of the most influential periods of my life, as well as one of the most influential periods in time for video game development. And in my opinion, arguably one of the most important video games to ever come out. And that is Half-Life 1. Of course, we're not going to play Half-Life 1 because, well, let's just be honest. Half-Life 1 is, uh, it was 1990s. It was the late 90s, like 1999, 98. Uh, very old game and obviously quite dated. And I don't think people would quite understand and it wouldn't be as visually appealing to actually play through the original Half-Life game. Uh, so instead, what we've got is Black Mesa, which is effectively Half-Life 1, uh, but uh, updated using the Half-Life 2 uh, Episode 2 Source Engine, which adds significantly better graphical detail, physics, uh, much, 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 much better graphics fidelity. And they've only made a couple of small changes to the gameplay that actually make the game uh, fun to play. There's a couple of levels that they reworked uh, to remove some tediousness with on a rail. Uh, they also uh, reworked the entire final levels in Zen to be just absolutely gorgeous. Totally rewrote the ending of the, the last levels of the game, but they didn't change the final boss battle. They didn't change... Uh, any of the sub boss battles coming into that, so it's it. This game is just legitimately taking Half Life One and just amping it up to eleven. And you know what? Let's just stop talking about it. Let's just dive in. We're gonna start a new game, Black Mesa Inbound. Now there are a couple of oddities with this game. One, we have load screens which I know is hard to understand. And the beginning of this game is a solid five minutes of riding on a tram. I kid you not. We are Gordon Freeman going to work today. But you have to remember in 1990, this game in the 1990s, 1998, 1999 time frame, this was revolutionary. This was unheard of. First person shooters of the era are like Doom and Duke Nukem 3D. Well, not really 3D. Oh, man, I missed that voice. And anyway, those games have very surface level uh, world building. They give you a very basic lore of the world, and then they just kind of set you free to do whatever the heck you want. This, this game puts you right into the action as a scientist at a top secret government research facility, and you're expected... Uh, to kind of figure things out, just like the scientists in this in this world would have. And all of this gets explained throughout the ongoings of the story. And so this game is really, really story driven, but it, it does have its action and combat sequences. But it's also a puzzle, you know, game. There's a lot of physics based puzzles. There's one of our infamous loading screens. There's a lot of physics based puzzles that uh, legitimately make this game challenging and there are no help boxes uh, you have to rely on things that you observe in the world to help you figure out puzzles there's no arrow telling you where to go so apparently gordon freeman lives on the on the facility of course you don't get to see that Just look at the amount of detail that the Crowbar Collective put into Black Mesa to remake the original Half-Life 1 game. If you played the original Half-Life 1 game, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The original Half-Life 1 game is very dated, and it's really hard to understand why it's so revolutionary from that original standpoint. And what people forget is, is quite honestly, what they forget is that this was this was unheard of at the time. Today, we take it for granted. Just about every single video, first-person shooter video game we play has this really, well, I won't say well-fleshed-out um, storyline. But it does have a fleshed-out storyline that, uh, you know, you can get engaged in. This was really the first game that had that. 
And now with Black Mesa, we get to play it with updated graphics. Now, granted, obviously, you know, the textures aren't exactly 4K. But again, this level was one of the very first levels that the Crowbar Collective reworked uh, when they were making Black Mesa. And this project started in like 2006 or something like that. So this 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 project just now being released on Steam just goes to show just how much work went into this. And it's all it was all done basically for free at first. And then they started asking for donations to help kind of motivate people to continue working. And now this game is actually canon. So Valve has said that... The original Half-Life 1 game that they created is no longer the canon of the Half-Life universe, but Black Mesa is. So the original Half-Life 1 game is no longer canon. Black Mesa has taken its place. Thankfully, not a whole lot in terms of the lore has changed. Like I said, they only reworked a couple of levels to help kind of make things make sense. And the Zen levels at the very end of the game uh, shed a little bit more light on the experiments that led up to the situation uh, that starts this whole game off. God, this game, this game, even for, you know, running on an engine that came out in 2006 ish time frame, is still gorgeous. I still think this is one of the better looking games and titles that you can play even today in 2020. Sure, it's not DCS World VR, but, you know, we've got Half-Life Alex coming to give us updated graphics in VR. And I'm looking forward to that, and we will be playing that, by the way. And you guys will be coming along to play that, by the way. So hopefully, hopefully, that game doesn't completely suck. I am trying to figure out a, a good way to do image stabilization, though. But uh, anyway, here's an important bit of world building. We get to find out who the heck we are. Her name is Gordon Freeman, age 27, male. What it doesn't tell you is that we have an absolute obsession with killing things with crowbars. You have a PhD in theoretical physics from MIT. And I'm a research associate. Just a lowly little research associate. Also, I feel obligated to point out this is definitely a government-run facility because OSHA would never approve this kind of thing. OSHA being the Occupational Safety Hazard Administration in the United States. They're the people that make you wear hard hats and do all that nonsense. I don't know what level 3 clearance gets me. I'm guessing not much. Heh <laughs> Okay. Disaster response priority. Discretionary. That's fancy government talk for figure it the hell out. Because <laughs> we're not going to tell you. Man, I remember when the first, like, I played Black Mesa back when it was free in like 2008 and they didn't have most of the levels in the game but I remember when there was a huge bug with the the torso on that thing it wasn't completely connected correctly and it was out of sync in the animations and man this game has come so far if you're looking for a good first person shooter game to play this is a really good game look at all the graphics improvements and stuff gosh some graphics are a little dated. Like, this wall texture is not, like, amazing. It's not awful, either. Uh... I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that, that, that that's not good. I'm also not going to... I don't think that's radioactive, though. And the reason why I say that is because... Uh, well, one, that guy's not running. But, uh-oh. Uh there we go. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Security guard's just leaning up against the wall. Nice. 
Yeah, I don't think that was radioact ra radioactive. I mean, radiation doesn't emit a green color, it emits a blue color, so I'm just gonna assume that wasn't radioactive. I don't have to report it to my radiation specialist. Thank you! You too, Mrs. Tram Lady. World building, my mans. Okay, that was a little bit longer than five minutes. It was about seven minutes. Yes, I'm running late. Please open all the things. Yeah? Why is that? Oh. Yeah, that'd probably do it. So one of the things that the Half-Life universe does a really good job of is encouraging you to explore the different areas. Oh, man, you cut the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a reference to uh, Half-Life Deathmatch. The 3D model for Gordon Freeman had a ponytail in Half-Life Deathmatch, which is a multiplayer version of the first Half-Life. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I Hi. Oh. About, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Hmm. It's one of those days, I guess. Yeah, I sounds I'm like it. I'm having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you'd gotten to your hat and suit. Oh, well, that's a subtle hint as to what I need to do. Apparently, I need to get into my hazard suit. Get away Check. Screw you, Walter Bennett. Go use another computer. Literally doesn't type anything. Hands off, Buster. I'm expecting a message any minute. <laughs> yeah. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? You know what, lady? Screw you. Hey, it's happening right <laughs> now. What the hell is going on out there? My horoscope was correct. Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Bartok. Bartok, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell's going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? I copied. Damn, Gordon. <laughs> uh, so like I said, this game does not have... Good morning. This game does not have, like, indicator errors and where to go. Uh, just, you know, as a random aside... Oh, this apparently is... Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Good morning, Freeman. Shut up. What? sample was just sent down to the test chamber. This is going to have to wait, Jordan. Oh, fine. So anyway, um, just as a fun story, I had a friend of mine who had never played this game before, and I just highly encouraged him to... Good morning. Hello? I highly encouraged him to pick up this game just because it is one of those quintessential classic video games. Like, you have to play this game at some point uh, to really understand where modern video games are at. <laughs> the overhead PA system is yelling at me to get to the uh, test labs. Anywho, uh, you really have to play through these games to actually understand. I think Black Mesa is a really good investment for people who are interested in doing that. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will hear the end of this. You'd best make like an atom and split. Because uh, that was, um, that was you-know-who's lunch. That's an important little tidbit of information for Half-Life 2 players. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Right. No toilet paper. N Nani? Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Okay. Hello? <coughs> Hello? Oh, thank heavens. In dire need of some toilet paper. Well, now you've got it. Ah, yes. The hazard suit. Apparently, this suit, without a helmet, 
is capable of protecting me from all sorts of things, and it is cooled by nitrogen? Atmospheric contaminant sensors activated. Vital sign monitoring activated. Automatic medical systems engaged. Defensive weapon selection system activated. Munition level monitoring activated. Communications interface online. Have a very safe day. God. <laughs> If I had my, my, like, if I put on my vest when I went to work and it told me to have a very nice day, I would be freaked out. So, obviously, I'm Gordon Freeman. I apparently have a child, and that must be, uh, my diploma. Uh, what is this? What? No, turn over. Yeah. <laughs> Color polish? For what? The hazard suit? Anywho. Ah, I remember my days in the hazardous environment suit. Yeah, you've got a really long monologue. I'm not going to sit here and talk to you. <laughs> that guy will talk to you for like 20 minutes if you let him. But again, world building. What a novel concept. This game is this game is starts off really really slow but uh right on through sir thanks looks like you're in the barrel today thanks anywho uh this game definitely starts off a little slow but it it, it warms you up <laughs> uh anywho um this game does a really good job of warming you up into the mechanics of the game. So this first part is all, you know, walking around, getting used to kind of this first area, getting used to moving around, jumping, talking to people. Hmm. Double check the Brewster's plates angles and make sure these super luminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. Apparently that dude is also a research associate, but why am I the one that is wearing the hazard suit? What's up, Doc? Yo! Somebody sucks at putting trash away. Oh. Well, we should probably put that back. This is a joke, too, for those who are wondering. Uh, well, that guy's going to explode if an instrument malfunctions. Another instrument malfunctions today. Oh, oh, hello. Do, 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 do. I've been here all along. We boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned if we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on then. I'll walk you down. That guy's an asshole. I'm just gonna say it. You know what? Eli has been busy making last minute preparation for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Oh, we made it through that game crash this time. <laughs> last time I tried recording this, it crashed. Good morning. A bit strange to just oh, uh, uh do you need this what there's that one is going on with our equipment i don't know but you're scaring me to do this in the first place what is this like an old school like pentium or something run along gordon we'll be but a moment i'm sure you will i want to see the other side of this there we go. Man, that looks like an OG frickin' uh, motherboard with uh, 
maybe like the original well there's no there's no processor in it I don't know um it very well could be like a one of the old school motherboards that was required to play this game it wouldn't surprise me if the crowbar collective put something like that in here as an easter egg it's something I would do if I was in their shoes I mean it makes sense ghost is off the charts um okay not now Gordon I, I would like to ask you about mr Beckerell's ghost and why the radiation levels are off the chart in the test chamber that I'm about to go into oh there you are what's up everybody's been looking for you hombre I but okay A bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And things are beeping. The most unstable. Now, uh oh. We follow standard insertion procedures. Everything will be fine. I don't know. Can I get a refresher on those? Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. I want to point out I'm a research associate. You're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence. At 27 years old and a PhD, I'm pretty sure that I just graduated from, from college, like, maybe this year. Maybe a year ago. Highly trained professional? Have you seen the way this place is run? Only government incompetence could possibly get us this far. Whoa. Trippy. What happens if I stand here? I'm gonna get out of that. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. So one of the interesting things that the uh, Source engine offers that the original Half-Life engine didn't is uh, television cameras. This camera is actually recording what is going on in there and displaying it here like an actual camera would. Woo! It's pretty neat that the government allows, uh, you know, scientists to just hang out in the middle of this experiment like this. I'm also touch confused as to how this suit works. Which, for one, I don't have any legs, apparently. But two, I don't have a helmet on. So, wouldn't my face get, like, radiated to death? I don't know. Things that are left unanswered. This is what MIT PhD students do in secret government labs. We push samples into really questionable phase array things. What does that even mean? Okay. He said get away from it. Uh, no, no, no. Oh, um, I'm going to guess that they're dead. Ow. Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. 
Something tells me I'm not in Kansas anymore. And by Kansas, I mean wherever Black Mesa is. Uh, why am I over here? Nope. Ah, suka bleat. Those don't look friendly. I'm just gonna go out on a limb. I can't move. Uh, those are definitely aliens. They look really sketchy, and they just tried touching me. Oh my goodness, did I just get anally probed? Ugh. Well, who would have thought? Apparently, the MIT student putting things into the, uh... You know, whatever this thing is. Anti-mass spectrometer. Um... I didn't do it. I'm just going to plead the fifth. Uh, the two dudes in here are dead. That's nice. Bloody handprint? That's... Scary? Oh. Damn it, breathe. <laughs> it's a VHS tape. Because, like, 90% of the people playing this game today have absolutely no idea what the hell that is. Whoa. Science personnel. Evacuate area. That's a dude's eyeball. Bling! I would say this place is in really bad shape right now. Get out of my way. Well, <laughs> I tried to warn you. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. By Schrodinger's cat. I am apparently a cat that is neither here nor there, and can't be in either place. All the phones are. I can't reach anyone in the facility. Need to get to the surface and let someone know that we're stranded down here. There's no telling what kind of danger is. My God, what have we done? I don't know, but there were definitely aliens in that dream that I just had that I woke up long before coming here. You'll need me for the retinal scanner. I'm certain the rest of the science team will help you along the way. And for God's sake, keep that suit on until you're in the clear. You hear me? What an interesting anterior. I wonder where its stomach is. Um, hello? Ooh, you certainly want out, don't you? I would too, I mean. I'd no. Hate to have to dissect one of these. Maybe you should make it your pet. Oh, it's open. Um. Why did that door close? What the heck? Buddy, get away from there! Well. That's rather unfortunate. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Yeet, yeet, McGee. Hmm. Um. That dude looks like he's having a bad day. Also, I think that thing that teleported in. Uh, I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say that that was, uh... Whoa. How are you moving? Why are you moving? Why is this moving? Oh, it's not moving. Why is that one moving? No, this one is moving. I don't know. This world is a creepy place. Um. Uh oh. Um. 
I don't know what that was. Did anybody hear anything? I, I don't remember hearing anything. I, I think that was just a figment of our imagination. I'm just going to go ahead and go back. What in the actual... Um, do, do, I, I don't know. Zombies. I'm just going to go with zombies. Yes. I'm going to, I'm also going to concur with you on that one. Oh, Suka, bleed it. I would agree. I don't think anybody's going to believe this. Uh, that way. <laughs> You're the one with the gun. Why did you run around the corner? You. He's right there. Like. No, no. This is creepy. Just creepy. All right, well, let's keep going. Because, you know, why not? Jesus. This place is in bad shape. <laughs> Yo, ass is on fire. Headshot. Nice shot. Yeah, it kind of was. You touch. Oh! Eh. Okay. Now. Yeah, you too, huh? This shit is something out of sci-fi movie. Boy, you ain't lying. <laughs> do 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 burn an eight in the people burn an eight in the countryside i was hoping there would be something back here but apparently not so like i said the game doesn't give you any indicators as to where it is that you need to go so you just kind of have to figure it out on your own. Um, help! Don't let him get near you. Yeah. Whoa! Did you kill him? Jeez. Um. Since he's stuck in there. Also, apparently Gordon Freeman in the post-apocalypse carries enough change around in him to just buy a bunch of sodas. It's good times. They also provide exactly one health apiece. <laughs> yes. Yes, we are. We're waiting for me to get to exactly 100 hit points. And then we'll go elsewhere. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, get out of the way. Um grab what you gotta grab. Well that's unfortunate for that dude. That's the guy that we gave the toilet paper. Did he flush at least? He did. Uh you are standing in fire. Stay classy, my friend. No hazard suit for you either. That's unfortunate. Apparently none of these other jerk faces want to leave their stuff open for us to uh, raid. Alright, well. So we can't go that way. Oh, those are zombies. Hey! Oh, where did you go? Come on. Do your thing, buddy! 
Or give me your gun so I can do the thing. Nice. Nope, can't go that way. Ow! Fine. Yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, the god, there's more! Bonk! Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. Well, I was going to kill him, but I mean, if you want to do that, that's cool, too. <laughs> well... Hmm. Oh. Well, that was, um, exciting. And apparently... Perplexing. All right. So that dude just got yeeted out of the way. That's a good place for him. Apparently not. All right. Yep. Um, I guess that's the mechanic that they use to try and take over the world. <laughs> because you're having a Windows error, you get to burn. Gun? Give me your gun? Can I have your gun? Do you have a gun? Where's your gun? Where's your gun? He's dead. This one's dead too. They're all dead! Well, apparently that opens this up. Alright. So we're gonna go a couple more minutes here and then we're gonna... Oh my goodness. That dude was alive and is now not. <laughs> you burned to death. <laughs> There's one thing I've ever learned from video games it's that boxes with flames on them strike me as being a bad idea to smack with the. Uh... Bad idea to smack with a crowbar. Ah, what is this? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. No, 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 no! Oh. Well. That escalated quickly. And I think that's as good of a place as any to go ahead and call it quits for this Let's Play. So this has been Black Mace, uh, uh, the first 40 minutes of it anyway. We are going to do a lot more of this. I certainly hope that you guys will continue to watch. And if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Hopefully we can get to getting some more of this gameplay up on the channel. I love this game. It's a riot. Anyway, I'm Whiskey11 signing us out of the gaming lounge. Have a good night.